Hello, my fellow e-stakers, and welcome to the Validator Workshop Explainer Series. I am Invedica.eth, one of the core e-staker community members, and in this series, I'll be guiding you through step-by-step -step on how to set up and configure your own validator on Piermont Testnet. Now, it's good practice to deploy a validator on Testnet first before setting up and running a validator on mainnet since no real ether will be used. Now, rest assured, the steps outlined in this explainer series are exactly the same as if deploying onto mainnet. To begin, I'll walk you through how to install Bolina Etcher to create a bootable USB device. Next, we'll go through opening up your own MetaMask wallet and finally requesting Gurley Testnet ETH. So without further ado, let's get into it. Now, the first step here is to create a live bootable USB device using Ubuntu 20.04. The reason for this is we wanna create a fresh environment for our validator. We don't wanna be running uh, any other programs or any other software on our validator. We wanna make sure it's a very clean environment. So let's go ahead and get into that. First, open up a browser session and head over to bolina.io slash etcher. Once you're on their website, click the applicable uh, operating system that you're currently using to download their software. Before leaving your, your browser session, uh, one more step is to download the Ubuntu operating system, and you can find it at ubuntu.com slash download slash desktop. You should see a download button on top for Ubuntu 20.04.2 LTS. Go ahead and click the download button and just make note as to where you save that file. We're going to be using it later. Now, after the Etcher software has downloaded and you've installed it onto your computer, go ahead and open it up. And the first thing we're going to do is locate the Ubuntu ISO file that we had just downloaded. In my case, it's in my downloads folder. I'm going to go ahead and open that up. The next thing we're going to do is take a USB device and plug it into your computer. Once plugged in, click, click on select target and then select the applicable device. Finally, hit the flash button, and in our case, we have to put in our administrative password, and now it's gonna begin flashing that USB device. After a few minutes, the program will finish, and we will now have a bootable USB device with Ubuntu 20.04. All right, so we have our live USB bootable device with Ubuntu 20.04. We're just gonna set that aside for right now. The next thing we're gonna do is open up our MetaMask account. So to do that, we're going to open up a browser session. And we're going to head on over to MetaMask.io. And we're simply going to hit the Download Now button. And we're in Firefox. So we're going to go ahead and install MetaMask for Firefox. Then we're going to add to Firefox. And there we go. Now we're gonna go through the MetaMask setup wizard. So we're gonna go ahead and click get started. Now this is gonna be instructions for a new MetaMask account. So let's go ahead and do that. We're gonna go ahead and agree to this. Now we're gonna create a password for the account. Please make sure that you make a strong password, but one that you'll remember. Okay, so we've got our password and we're just gonna to agree to the terms of use. Now this step is incredibly important and you need to pay attention when opening up your MetaMask account. This is your secret backup phrase or your seed phrase. Right now, I'm gonna click this to review it, but you would never in the real world share this with anyone for any reason. Effectively, whoever has access to your secret backup phrase has access to your ether. So unless you wanna give up control of your ether as the only time that you would ever give up the seed phrase. And then we're going to go ahead and click on next. It's going to ask us to recite the seed phrase because this is important. Not only does it control the access to your wallet, but if you lose your seed phrase uh, and need to regain access for whatever reason, you're out of luck. There's no way to recover this type of information. So it's imperative that you copy this down correctly and keep it in a safe place. 
Okay, we've confirmed our seed phrase. Uh, MetaMask has confirmed that we do in fact have it down correctly, so we're going to hit all done. We're just going to close out of this. And now this is our MetaMask wallet. Now currently we are on the Ethereum mainnet, and we can see that we don't have any funds in there. Now for this explainer series, we're going to be working with the Gorley testnet network. Now that we have our very own MetaMask wallet, the next step is to request Gorley ETH in order to fund our validator. The minimum is 32 Gorley ETH, so we're going to go ahead and request that from the ETH Staker Discord. If you aren't already a member of the ETH Staker Discord server, please join us at invite.gg slash eStaker. Once you've joined the ETH Staker Discord, you'll notice on the left-hand side of channels, if you scroll all the way to the bottom, you'll see a section for test nets. We're going to go ahead and click on the request Gorley ETH channel. And what we can do here is scroll to the bottom and then request Gorley ETH by typing an excla exclamation point uh, Gorley ETH and then our wallet address. So if we go back, go back into MetaMask and then just click on account one. This will copy the entire Ethereum wallet address. Okay, we've got our full wallet address pasted here. We're just going to go ahead and hit enter. And we see the automated bot has confirmed that yes, the deposit has been made. Let's just wait a few minutes. So if we go back to our MetaMask wallet, now if we look in our Gorley uh, test network MetaMask, uh, we see that we have 33 ETH. And now the minimum to spin up an Ethereum validator node is 32. This uh, allows us the full 32 staking amount with a little bit uh, to pay for the gas fee for the transaction. Now the next thing to do is install the operating system to the hardware that we're going to be using for the validator. Now, first thing you need to do is plug in the USB device and then turn on the computer you'll be using for the validator. Now what we want to do here is boot from the USB device. Now, depending on the hardware and manufacturer, the button to push to boot into a USB device can vary. It's usually uh, one of the F keys like F11 or F12. It could be something uh, unique like Control R or Control H. Make sure when you're booting up your computer for the first time and watching the splash screens to look for something that says uh, boot priority. Um, once you have booted into the USB device, uh, you should see something like this. Once booted into the USB device, we're going to go ahead and step through the installation wizard. Uh, in our case, we're going to go ahead and install Ubuntu. Uh, in our case, we are English. We're going to go ahead and keep that the same. I'm actually going to switch this to minimal installation, especially since we're only installing the validator software. We don't need things like uh, office software games or media players. We're going to go ahead and click continue. And then I'm also going to keep this the same. We want to make sure that there's no remnants of any other software on this machine. So we're going to blow away any other information and allow Ubuntu to erase the disk used on this. That being said, please make sure that uh, this isn't a production machine or a home machine because if there are any valuable information, photos, media, it will be lost. So make sure that, again, this machine is completely dedicated for validator use only. So we're, let's go ahead and click install now. It's going to ask us to confirm that yes, in fact, we do want to install on this disk. and Yes, in fact, it will delete. We'll go ahead and click continue. We will verify our area. In our case, we are out of the Phoenix area. We'll hit continue. Now it's going to ask us for some naming details. Make sure you remember this password as the administrative password will be used heavily in installing additional software necessary for the validator. Let's go ahead and click continue. And now Ubuntu will be installed on our applicable machine. Something to note while this loads is the amount of time that it takes to install on your machine is gonna vary greatly depending on the resources available, uh, mainly the CPU power, amount of RAM and disk. 
So uh, let's just let this go and we'll come back in a couple of minutes to see when it's finished up. All right, looks like our installation is complete. Let's go ahead and restart. And look at that, looks like we have a fresh new copy of Ubuntu 20.04 installed. So there you have it. To summarize, we set up a live USB bootable device and installed Ubuntu 20.04. We opened up our very first MetaMask account and then requested Gorilla ETH in order to fund our validator node. Now the next steps are to install and configure the validator node itself. We'll be exploring that step by step in the next video. All right, we'll see you there.